Folks, we got a big change up, move around, clean up. Everything I touch now, like I said before, gets cleaned. All you clean concerns out there, come clean and decorate with me. Right here on my deck on Home and Garden. So this is what's going on. I've taken our Christmas collection of Budweiser Steins and put them in the loft. I'm going to show you that too. This four shelves above the music hutch. You know, I built this for Angela's music. Her music's down below along with Christmas <laughs> and Cape Cod has always had only one shelf here in what we call the pie hutch. This used to have just the diamond mesh panels and you know I put glass in it so it was a pie hutch. All down below here, but you can't even see, I can't even get at it to use, needs to be rewashed and it's going to be put up on the four shelves I mentioned. That'll give me this shelf, okay, and the top of this hutch. for the things that are coming down from summer. Now look at, we still have, we're gonna be changing this soon. Here's our spring and Easter plates on the wall still. Not gonna work now. <laughs> so we gotta start shifting over to fall with our decor and our colors. So, teacups might stay, but cocoa pots and things have to move. So they're gonna move as well. Alrighty, let's see what else is going on. The fireplace is getting a total changeover. How do I start that? Well, I start by bringing bins in and summer flowers are gonna start getting put away. Okay, that's just a dent. <laughs> just a dent. Now the kitchen's not changing much besides adding, you know, our couple of new pictures that I put in, but I want to show you something and tease you a minute. Homemade 15 bean soup. The whole house smells like it's cooked for eight hours. It's going to be incredible. If you haven't done it, I suggest you try it. 15 bean soup, you buy it in the dry bean pack. Really reasonable. It comes with its own season pack. You add eight cups of water. I put in a can of diced tomatoes and we'll make some corn muffins and we'll have a meal off the chain, guys. Now Angela will have a fit. She'll say, don't take them in there. <laughs> this is the pantry where I keep all kinds of goodies. But what I want to change is how it's all mixed, mixed around. You see, I got kind of an Easter corner and new things come in. There's Christmas, there's fall. But I want to get this 
more organized and I'm going to show you that. Now normally we don't go up here until Christmas time but I'm going to show you what I'm doing in the loft. some light adjustment. All I had to do here, I think people forget, I put built-in floor-to-ceiling shelves in every single room in this house when we moved here. Now all I had to do here is sort through the old movies and old books, kitty movies and coloring books and goofy stuff that we didn't need anymore and I come up with four empty shelves <laughs> now the Christmas mugs have a new spot in the Egyptian loft then over here I'll be putting some vases and things that I use all the time for decor and you incorporate it in so it looks nice and neat it looks like it's there on purpose it's not just a messy storage room someday we're gonna do some collections on the Egyptian and we're back where I'm working so all that Cape Cod is going to come over here to the island sink where I'm washing and drying and here's the first piece to go up. If you guys, I know a lot of you remember it, I know a lot of you have seen it, but if you haven't seen it lately, this stuff is off the chain. Look at it with the light behind. It's just gorgeous together. Alrighty, so everything has to come down off the top of the pie hutch. And everything has to come out from underneath the pie hutch. So it's a ton and well, Be real careful doing that. I like to use a nice beefy, heavy duty two, two step ladder with big wide steps. Not the little skinny steps, the big wide steps to be safe. Getting hurt, especially like most of us that are a bit older, a little older, you get hurt, things take way longer to heal now, you know that, especially a broken bone. Now I like a nice cork line tray to set things on so they don't slip and slide because I'm going to be moving a lot of the Cape Cod over to the sink to get cleaned up. And, and I'll tell you, you have to have the right attitude. Here's what I do. I get to look at the stuff again. <laughs> up close. You got to make it fun. It's not a, a hassle. Get out of the recliner. You know, this, this is not a workout. <laughs> In your recliner, this is not a workout. Okay? This is a workout. 
clean your beautifuls, get out of the chair, keep the blood moving. I'm telling you, that's the difference. And all you smart folks out there know that already. You know that anyway. Now you might say, well, boy, that's a, getting an awful lot in your hand at one time. You get what you can handle, okay? And nothing should be clicking together. Then you're not going to have a problem. Okay, that's what I go by. What can I carry, lift, or move without taking a chance. I'm really caught now. There's a little Christmas <laughs> around that candle. Oh boy. And in that chimney. Look at the candlestick. It almost is the same color. Remember back in the day, you couldn't even get your hands on some of these pieces to the Cape Cod. Now, because people get tired of things and they just get rid of them, they're all over the internet, all over eBay, different sites, Etsy, at the market. At the flea. <laughs> now these may be going back up there, but gotta love it. Two big balls left and a little heart. <laughs> More Christmas. I keep those there because they're the toppers to the little trees that go in here. <laughs> Might have to find a new spot since we're rearranging. Whew! This will just make your head spin. But you gotta make it fun and you gotta wanna clean and see your beautifuls that's all that's all it is it's not that hard it doesn't take that long really look at this his and hers champagne flutes on top of the Eiffel Tower guess what that table's for <laughs> yes, we'll do a two table. Lover's table for just him and her. We'll get it. Now I'm going to take you and send you a plane ticket and have you come help. You thought I was going to take and show you all around again. Oh no. Too easy. Get out of that recliner. Get your coat on. Oh, it's summer. Summertime. <laughs> Grab your bathing suit. Now I'm sure some of you are just thrilled that you can say you actually saw me cleaning. See this, how this works? We'll dry that in a minute. Anybody else using these little wands with the scrubber on and you fill the handle with soap? Man, I'm nuts about these. Yeah, we have a lot of extras on the Cape Cod because when there was a deal, we 
we just bought them bought them up as an investment you know someday I figure when you're retired on the Mediterranean in your little two-bedroom bungalow eating shrimp on the porch watching the ships go by <laughs> You might have to sell your stuff. I don't know. How old would you be then? 80? 85? <laughs> yes, sir. Look at the dust. Goodbye, dust. <laughs> We're not breathing you anymore. Anybody like corn bread with their beans? That's what we're doing. I like a little olive oil in the pan. The oven's on 400. Who doesn't like those Jiffy corn muffins? Jiffy mix. <laughs> I know it's more fun to get a muffin, but that takes more time and that would be pushing the envelope for me <laughs> in the oven 15 to 20 now if we have gold trim work or delicate items we want to use a soft rag of course to do the washing and I think this stuff is going to the loft because it's short and stature and will fit on the shelves so among everything else we're gonna wash this top of this pie hutch and i do have to be careful because i have little tack nails and fittings here for christmas things As long as they don't take away from the total look, I don't mind leaving them because it just seems silly to put a bunch of holes in something every year. But I'm going to hang a garland there every year anyway. And now that we're washed, I did put the smaller pieces to this upstairs. Now you know I'm doing a ton, so we'll have a final reveal in a different video, but at least you can see what's going on. Time to redo the fireplace. So yellow and fruit is going to go away, and I must say I'm going to miss it because it was really enjoyable for summer let me know in the comments folks if you thought it was enjoyable for the summer next silly question <laughs> uh, 
sometimes it's hard to see things go away it's temporary and you know it's to bring in that new look and that's the fun I'm gonna see if I want that platter up here on a stand it may or may not fit Tall and the small. I can tell that's going up to the loft. Okay, so what's fun here is right now at least we don't have to put this away. We can still enjoy it and look at it. The candles probably are not going to go back up with the candle stands because I want to use them. Just amazing how that gets over just a couple months. And that's why we're gonna get after it in between. And I'll move the lanterns and I'll take the yellow flowers out of the lanterns. Folks, also, I'd like to say hello and thanks for coming by. To Leobardo Chavez. Thanks for coming by. Linda Murphy. Thank you, Linda. And Ms. Lady C. What a sweetheart. She doesn't miss a show. I don't think any of you do anyway. And Norma Smith. If we repeat anybody, we're sorry. <laughs> There's almost 10,000 of you now. So we're so happy with that. Thanks guys. Folks, if you liked our rearranging video today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send your buddy over. We'll take care of them and we'll make them smile. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks folks for coming by and you know when this is all done I'm going to do the reveal for you and take you all around. Take care and see you in the next awesome clean and decorate video.